Hey, what's good everybody? I am Jay Diggs here with Mixwave, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to separately route contact instruments in Pro Tools. Let's go. Okay, here we are in Pro Tools. The first thing we're gonna do is create a stereo instrument track. Next, we wanna go ahead and open contact. Do a multi-channel. All right, guys, here we are in contact. The first thing we need to do is prepare our output section down here. If you do not see this, you wanna go up here, hit this button, and make sure outputs is checked, and this should pop right up for you. First thing we're gonna do is hit the plus button, and you wanna decide how many channels you wanna make. I wanna make eight stereo channels. The reason we're doing stereo is because with contact, it becomes very tedious when you try to output mono channels. So to save you the headache, go ahead and just make stereo channels, even though you're outputting a mono instrument such as a snare drum. Okay, so we're gonna make eight stereo channels. You wanna leave number of channels on two for stereo. And under host output right here, let's go ahead and select the first channel. Just select the first channel. And we wanna hit ascending output assignment. Make sure that's ticked. That's gonna allow all eight channels to flow and create themselves. And very important, we wanna hit delete existing channels before creating new ones. That's gonna get rid of what we have here already. Yours might look a little bit different, but this button will take care of that. It will delete those and allow you to make your new channels. All right, go ahead and hit okay. And as you can see, I have my eight stereo channels. Now, I wanna name these. I recommend you name them. It'll be much easier when you're writing your drums later. So I'm gonna name this first one, Kit. That's gonna be for the whole kit. That's gonna be for our overheads, our room mics, and whatever else you wanna just leave in that first channel in the stereo field. Now this next one, we're gonna name Kick. I'm gonna name the next one, Snare, and so on. I won't name all of these just for time purposes. Now that you have your tracks named, let's go ahead and save this. Now it's gonna be really important to save this as a preset and we're gonna save it as our default setting. So let's save it as a preset first. So go ahead and name it. Let's just say Thomas Kit. You can name yours whatever you like. Now the very important part is to save this as a default setting because we're gonna relaunch contact and this will allow Pro Tools to read our output settings. So you wanna make sure that you save it as the default setting first. So right here, save current output section state as default for, go ahead and hit all formats. Okay, now we're going to reload contact. Okay, I just reloaded contact and as you can see, we have all of our channels still here. We have the kit, kick, snare, hat, and so on. Now you're gonna load your instrument. In this example, we're using Mixed Wave Thomas Prison drums, which is an awesome, awesome, drum kit and as you can hear I'm playing the drums and everything is coming through our kit channel now from here it becomes pretty easy I'm gonna go to our drum mixer and we're gonna start routing these yours may look a little different depending on which instrument you're using so I'm gonna route my kick through the kick channel the snare through the snare channel I'll hop over to the hi-hat and route that to the hat channel. Now you'll notice we lost some of the sound. What you're hearing is the overheads and the room mics. What we need to do is now route our outputs so we can hear them. So I'm gonna hop over to the main window of Pro Tools and create audio tracks for our instruments. I'm gonna make three stereo audio tracks. And on my audio track, I want to hit the input, plug in, contact, boom, contact kick. You're not going to hear it yet. So what you have to do is hit the monitor input button. Boom. Now that will let the audio flow. It's flowing through our outputs of contact right into our audio channel. And we're going to do the same for the rest of them. This is great, so now we have separate control over all of our drums. And I can add processing, compressors, EQ to each P 
piece of the drum individually. All right, guys, that was just a quick tutorial on how to separate contact instruments in Pro Tools. If this helped you out, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to get back to you and help you out. Until next time, I'm Jay. Peace.